In our last episode, we created a blank database and then a table. We discussed briefly on uh, the data types and then the, the, uh, the table field properties. In this video, we'll just try, we'll start writing, writing some of the codes to, you know, by setting up a connection to database uh, by code. So this is the front end, uh, like, uh, like a sample data. This is our data that we have in Excel. This is like a form, right? For instance, so we'll start with something smaller so that um, uh, we make we make sure that everyone is following along. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this. Um, first thing before you start working with ADO, I think if you follow the uh, the videos on uh, SharePoint Server and uh, Excel, you are familiar with this but then uh, make sure that uh, ActiveX data objects uh, are selected so in order to find this you press um, M till you come down to ActiveX data objects okay so select the highest one here it's 2.8 and the one we have here is 6.0 so I'm gonna select this but for you whatever is highest depending on your version that you're using you select them okay you can select any of them it will still work so for now i'm selecting a 6.0 this is on top because i've already selected it in the past okay okay let's click on okay and um, i've written a sample code here i'll just uh, walk you through that uh, just, just a little bit so this is the code um, that I'll be uh, talking to you in this short video. What are we trying to do here is we have created a database here in our prior video. And uh, uh, we want to send the data to this database um, into this table. But uh, one thing that we need to do here is to encrypt this with a password. So I'm going to put a password. Uh, let's call this... Um, x2016 db something like this you can put in anything you want so the space here so let me close this this is database we have just created and i'll enter the password it's asking for the password so here is our table without any data okay so i'm gonna um okay just leave it open for now so that we can see the data that's been passed so we have set a reference to ADO um, ActiveX data objects and now um, we have to update the path where the database is so I'm just gonna go to the database folder right click on the path properties and then security tab I'll take the full part of this file now I'm gonna go back to my code and update this connection string okay this is where I put in my database location and then our password is x2016 db I'll put it here so you can have this as the function as well and have the password located in somewhere else but for now let's put it there if you want initially if you're working on this and you want um, the connection string it's readily available in connectionstring.com you can find this out from your database as well by typing in um, into your immediate window for um, immediate use so you can write current project dot uh, base connection string so this will give you what we are looking for um, to set up a connection like the provider, the source, and then um, the password, how to set this up. But if you forget, you can immediately get it from here as well. So this is the provider. Then you have, um, you know, like um, the other attributes here. So the, the main thing you need here is this. This is the provider. And then you have like uh, the database and all this which is already set up there in our uh, Excel file so every time you need to send a data you need to set up a connection to database first thing 
you need to open a table if you have to do something with the table right and then you have to update them if you're adding new or if you're making changes if you're deleting them so we'll go line by line on this one and see how this works now so first in this line I'm saying that CN is a ADO database connection and then RS is a record set basically a table or a slice or a view that is there in a database that I'm we are setting up a connection so here I'm uh, creating a like an object right setting up a new connection and then with this connection we are putting our connection string which we have set up here which is the database and then the source the driver the provider and all this okay and then I'm saying with this connection string just open this connection and then uh, we are setting up a table we have declared it we are setting up now and then we are opening them here when we are uh, I'm saying uh, here we want to open a table called employee TV so I'll just copy this and say so what this means is uh, open this whole table whatever is there just open all of them and then using open this table using this connection and then this is car, my cursor type and then if you put a comma here you'll be see this is the log type this is the cursor type this is the log type and then this is the you know the options that you need to pass in so make sure that if you're opening this for adding a new data you open it in dynamic and automatic okay um, we'll talk about syncing the data later on then we'll talk about other cursor types now rs dot add new is basically i'm saying add a new data to the database and then uh, we're gonna update the field names now so i'll just go here design mode i'll try to get uh, the field names copy to our code so first we want to put it the employee name and then database we want to add them to this and then designation salary and bonus so I'll just write this down so basically we're saying add a new data to this field to this field equal to this so we're saying range d3 value just add it to this employee table like that so we're gonna use this uh, table uh, there are multiple ways of uh, writing it to the table using update commands and then app and queries and all these uh, SQLs. For now, this is um, uh, we are gonna learn this method. This is um, a very simpler way of. Uh, uh, it depends, but this should be easier to follow. So what I'm saying now is, add um, d3 value this is d3 add d3 value to employee employee name date of birth which is you can also add it as cells row number five column number four so if you want you can write range and then the range d4 d5 d6 d7 and d so um i've set this up this like um, range d4 and then this is you can write it in this manner as well d5 and then range this would be d6 designation should be six and then we have d7 and d8 okay so if you want to make sure that the, the numbers are getting picked from this particular sheet you add a syntax um, you know you assign an object ahead of this so in this manner so once you're done with this just click on debug and then if it is good you'll not receive any error make sure that you are type in all the information correctly so after I send this information I'm saying update just update this table close the table clear the memory do the same thing for the connection okay so let's try and run this and see if it works so to run this I'll just click on run here for now So the first time you set up a connection, it's uh, a little bit um, slower. Okay, this is saying it's already exclusive, exclusively opened by another user. 
so that's because I've opened this in design mode I'll just exit this design mode okay I'll come back here and then I'll run this again so this time it's done now if I go back and open this table you see that this information key and all the information is already added here into our table okay so let's try this by adding another name I'll just say this style and then I'll say this is 1987 and then employee ID is this and then associate and we're gonna make this to 30,000 and then 20% of that 15% of that and now I'm gonna try and run this again and then I'll go back to my database so if you see it's already sent the data to our database so this is how you can um, uh, send a data to database um, it's already 14 minutes we'll try to cover a new way like uh, updating and deletion and all this in our next video so thank you so much for watching and tune in back for our next episode thank you so much bye bye